It is close to 620 and time now for What's Trending. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO, an <laughs> overturned tractor trailer in Tennessee, ended up spilling, get this, 43,000 pounds of pasta. The accident happened near downtown Nashville on Wednesday, and the pasta problem caused some backups for a time, while crews used a small tractor to scoop up all of those noodles. That's definitely not a Gouda situation and a linguine of a mess. And the load of pasta appears to be a tortellini loss. Yep. <laughs> and it definitely has not been a good week for trucks hauling food actually in Middle Tennessee. Because Monday night, a tractor trailer carrying pumpkin pies caught fire. And then Tuesday morning, a truck hauling some frozen chicken crashed. So oh, no. <laughs> certainly a lot of messes to be cleaned up there in Tennessee. But uh but that just has me thinking pasta. I have pasta on the brain, and uh, my favorite pasta, you guys, is actually uh, raviolis from a little deli back home in San Jose. And recently, for my husband's birthday, I had some flown out here to Wisconsin so Ooh. that we could enjoy them. And uh, I still have some in the freezer. I kind of want to make some right now. You definitely <laughs> should. You should not spill it on the road. That would be a total waste of pasta, Marissa. But yeah, I personally love fettuccine <laughs> noodles. I think they're fantastic. But yeah, I'm sure so many people just saw the tr the truck spilled all over, and their first thought was like, "Oh man, that's that's so." much good food just gone to waste <laughs> yeah I mean who doesn't love pasta overall so I'm sure a lot of people were upset when they saw it but I can't imagine being stuck in traffic behind that being late to work and then people ask you why are you late and saying oh there oh. was 43,000 pounds of pasta in the road it has to be a, a pretty funny story for a lot of people there <laughs> Yeah, and a really long cleanup. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. But uh, speaking of another frustrating food-themed story, after giving away some in a contest, Heinz Ketchup is now making an insanely slow puzzle available for purchase. So here is that red monster. It is 570 pieces. A nod to the brand's 57 varieties, all in the exact same shade of red. So definitely a challenge for puzzle lovers. The company recently gave away 57 of them in a social media contest. They said it was there was an overwhelming response to that limited run. So now you can buy the one at HeinzKetchupPuzzle.com for $24.99. In conjunction with the sale, Heinz said it's donating $10,700 or 107,000 meals to Feeding America. It says that represents the anticipated U.S. profits from the puzzle and many have taken up jigsaw puzzles during the COVID-19 outbreak as a stay at home hobby. But for me, when I do puzzles, I have the kind of mentality of I'll do the edges first and then fill the inside, but I don't think that would work for this kind of puzzle. I think I would also get very frustrated <laughs> doing it. That is a lot of pieces. Uh, yeah, right now, you know, my son and I are just working on his little puzzles that are, are much easier than that. So I'm glad that we haven't moved on <laughs> to something that big uh, because, my goodness, I mean, I, I guess people do have some extra time at home right now. So um, that certainly would be something that would take up a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've actually seen a lot of people posting about doing puzzles at home with their family. So it's definitely something that people have been doing a lot of. And that one would definitely be hard. Maybe give you a little bit of a headache because of how red all those pieces are, but definitely a fun use of your time during a quarantine period like this. Well, a lot of people are looking to stay busy and quarantine has brought out a new level of creativity in many people. A family in Maryland is taking it to a whole new level coming up with more than 50 theme night dinners and posting photos to social media. A lot of brainstorming happens here in the Weasel family kitchen. This is also where theme night started. 14 year old Addison came up with a fun idea for dinner, 80s night and then things grew from there. Now from Putt-Putt to Pac-Man, every night is a theme and then the family member revealed what the next night would be. The family tries to use things around the house to create the looks and they repurpose uh, Amazon boxes to use too. They always uh, snap a picture of their final creations and those pictures will be great for sharing stories their time together for the years to come. Certainly. What a creative family. And I think the part that I love the most about that is that they uh, kind of use just what's around their house. You know, they're not ordering costumes and stuff, um, you know, uh, every day. They're using boxes and other things to make really unique creations. I know. I feel like it's so easy to get stuck in the same lull of pattern, especially when you're stuck at home. But first off, Marissa, I know you love 80s. I love the 80s theme right there. And I think it's so much fun that each family member gets to pick a different one for different days, too. We should do that, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lot of fun right there. And I'm sure a lot of people, you know, are either going to look back at this quarantine period and think, oh, we made the most of it or uh, we had a, a poor time. But uh, I think they're doing a good job of making the most of what they have right now. And for a lot of us across the Northwoods, maybe making a theme to dinner outside is going to be a good idea 
because we have some mild temperatures heading our way. 